Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks, and happy Friday. It is great to see all of you here as we round out week three of the new year. Woo! It's been such a fabulous week, and we want to remember our standards of excellence, always keeping that up front in the front of our brains and thinking about, remember, collaboration, where we're working together, respect, and then this month, we are focusing on consistent. And that means staying true to our mission and goals even when things change. So we are looking for those students that are displaying consistency. And next week, we'll have our live assembly. So we will get to honor you all and recognize the hard work you've been doing uh, to show that you are consistent. Yes, you will. It's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to that live assembly. Just a reminder for our read day, that is coming up January 27th because today is Friday and we're actually here in the building all together. So January 27th is our next read day. Yeah, in the following week, even though you do have school Monday through Thursday, Friday is your grading day. That means we have made it halfway through the school year. Woo! It is our time when we take a look and we see where you are on, um, in reaching your goals in those essential learning standards. So looking forward to seeing all the progress that's been made here with your academics as we keep pushing through the school year. So no read day on February 3rd, also no school. All right, we also have Read Across America that's coming up. That is February 27th through March 2nd. And then also, here's a little hint that's coming up. We have our curriculum night, which is on March 2nd, which all of you and your families are invited to come here and see all the fun activities that we have going on on March 2nd, okay? And we're also looking for some parent volunteers, so let your parents know to come and help. Well, and then next week, not only do we get to have an all-school assembly, which is always really fun, uh, but later on in the day, you guys get to go over to the middle school and have a preview, which means not the full play, but just a little sample of Mary Poppins. So that's going to be a really good time. Um, it'll be a great opportunity for you to show those high school and middle school kids that the kids at CRE know what it looks like to go to a theater um, and just be a wonderful audience for them as they kind of probably have some nerves getting ready for their big performances. And we also have on Tuesday, January 31st, our NED assembly from 1.15 to 2. So we're going to have an assembly in the afternoon time for our NED assembly. All right. And it looks like we have time for trivia. trivia. Let's check it out. Last week's trivia. Last week's trivia was a little different. It was no math, but a lot of writing. Wow. And it was about our school-wide agreements. All right, our kinder and kinder through second grade. Go ahead and pick that out. Okay, it looks like this one is coming from kindergarten Miss Clayton's room, uh, Roscoe. And Roscoe took the time to very carefully form all of his letters in the five school agreements that we have listed. So nice job, Roscoe. Thank you for taking the time to do that. Thank you for living out these agreements and being a wonderful little Chinook. All right, and then our third through fifth grade, let's dig in there and see what we have. We have Waylon in third grade from Mrs. Rutherford's classroom, and that is a lot of beautiful handwriting. So congratulations, Waylon. Come on down, pick that prize out. Very cool, and reading through them, I love that some of you even put your own words in there. It means not only do you understand what they are, but you can kind of add your own perspective on them. Great work. And then we have our new trivia, which we're going back to math. So check out our new trivia for our K through two. And our three through five, here you go. All right. And we have some fabulous Chinooks who have been showing us that they know how to meet expectations in different areas of our building. So we have our golden plunger. Golden plunger. Let's go ahead and go to that golden fairy, Mr. Armstrong. Take it away. 
Hello Chinooks, it's that time again and we are here to tell you the winner of that golden plunger. So let's check in with the fairy plunger. Here we go Mr. Armstrong. So what are we looking at today? This week's going to be second and third grade boys. Awesome job this week. Second and third grade boys, way to go. We're so proud of you. Keep up that hard work. All right, Mr. Wolf, and what about our golden tray? Golden tray, our most favorite person in the cafeteria, that golden tray fairy, Miss McDonald. Tell us who won. Hello, Chinooks. We are in the cafeteria today, and we are going to reveal the golden tray winners. So let's move over to the golden tray fairy. This week, our Golden Tray winners are the third graders. Good job, third graders. We appreciate that you are keeping a clean cafeteria and behaving and having good manners when you're in there. And Miss McDonald, when those students or those grade levels reach that goal of four Golden Trays, what are we gonna get? Popcorn. Popcorn, all right. I wanna be popping some popcorn, so keep up that great work. All right, until next time, have a great day. And how about our library book? That is awesome. I'm glad we asked because we are working so hard in the library, Miss Anderson. I also want to do a quick preview to see what Mrs. T is doing in the library with all of our students talking about garbage and compost. So let's check out what they're doing right now. Whoa, we are in library right now and we're going to take a deep dive into what's happening in library because we have some worms here. Let's go check those worms out. Wow, isn't that amazing? Don't you want to come to the library and check out the worms too? I'm going to go over there and check it out and get my hands in the dirt and worms. All right, we're also going to look at that golden fairy book. Take it away for us in that library. Hello, Chinooks. We are in the library right now and we are ready to reveal that golden book and guess what? That golden fairy has been flying around here and checking on all those expectations. So let's see who won this week. Miss Clayton's class and they get a stuffy party. Wow! That's amazing. We're so excited to do that. Keep up the good work Chinooks and we'll see who wins next week. Ah! All right, and this week we're adding a golden backpack. Yes, we are. We're looking for are for pods to display all of their materials, making sure that they're in their cubbies or they're hung up. So each pod, so the third grade pod is their own team, second grade pod is their own team, kinder's their own team, first grade's their own team, fourth is their own team, and fifth is their own team. So each grade level pod, okay, we're gonna be walking through and seeing is everything picked up off the floor or am I tripping over everything? So we're gonna work on really uh, being respectful of our materials and taking care of our spaces. All right, so that golden backpack will be coming out soon. Stay tuned, but let's take a little preview of what it looks like through our pods right now. Congratulations to all of those uh, teams that won for the Golden Plunger and Tray and Book. Congratulations, keep up that hard work. All right, and it looks like we have some birthdays. To birthday. Happy birthday to you. To birthdays. celebrate. So this week we have Kevin in Miss Hill, Noah in Miss Munns, Jeremy in Miss Arnett, Kaysen in Miss O'Connor, Iman in Miss Brown, Braden in Miss Munns, and another Noah in Miss Brown. Yay! Happy birthday to you all. All right, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Chinooks, have a great weekend. We're so thankful to have you all here with us and having a great experience at school. Keep up the hard work. We'll see you on Monday.